Hey guys, it's me Carrie and welcome to my channel. And here we talk about pretty much anything that smells good from body care to candles to um, good smelling cleaning supplies. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you clicked on this video, more than likely you already know what Caldrea is, um, and you may or may not have already tried it out. Um, so what it is, it is a, most, most people know it for their counter cleaner, counter cleans, and this is the Caldrea. Um, I'll tell you, I get mine from Grove, Grove, Grove Collaborative, um, and I, they have their own website, so you can order straight from uh, Caldrea's website. And I think you can get it, some of it on Amazon as well. I'm not really sure. Um, the reason I go through Grove is because I'm a member, and so I pay like the $19 a year to get free shipping, which it works out for me because I order all of my cleaning supplies from them every month. So I'm getting, you know, shipping shipments every month. So it's well worth it and you can get hygiene products you can get a lot from Grove so definitely check that out but anyways I've pretty much used every scent that they have I think the only one I have not used is the one that is a lavender scent I just don't I just tend not to lean towards lavender when it comes to cleaning stuff and body care I use it sometimes but I'm just not big on lavender now, I probably will end up getting in and trying it out, and it might end up being my favorite. You just really never know. Um, what I want to talk about Caldrea is it's not cheap. Um, a bottle of the, let's see, 16 ounce of the counter clean, counter clean is $10. Um, and then another thing that I get is the linen and room spray. And this is, these are 16 ounces and these are $14, but it's worth it to me. And I'll explain to you why before I go over all the scents, cause I'm going to go through all the scents and what like they smell like to me so that you'll know if it's maybe something that you want or you'll be interested in. So you don't have to buy all of them to see which one is your favorite. Um, I don't reach for these. Say if my kitchen is, you know, everybody's cooked and it's a total mess. Honestly, I don't. I go for my, um, like Mrs. Myers cleaners and stuff like that and really deep clean everything first. And then once everything is pretty much clean, I will grab my Caldrea, spray my countertops, the fridge, whatever down, let it sit for a few minutes and then wipe it all down. And the scent lingers for hours. It is amazing. The smell, it smells like you have lit a candle and it like, it's that strong of a scent. Like it's, just a, most of them are just fresh and clean and it smells so good. That's, that's why I think it's worth it. Um, also it's, um, you can use it like on stone, you can use it on porcelain, your wood floors, um, it's safe on granite. So it's, and it's, you know, all their stuff is natural. So that's another, you know, good thing about them. But the one that you probably either used or heard the most about, I think it's their most popular one, is the Sea Salt Neroli. And it's well worth the hop. I mean, the hop is real. This is, I've, I've used Caldrea for about a year now. And this is, let's see, this is my new one that I just got in the other day. But I've only went through two other bottles I believe and it is so good it is a lemon scent but not like a not like a Lysol like cheap lemon cleaner scent no that's not it this is a very all these are very rich smelling cleaners it smells like like if you're at a beach house and that's what the kitchen would smell like like at a beach house it's kind of beachy and clean lemony so that's sea salt and I think this would be the safest one to start out with. This is the first one that I purchased. Um, and if you're going to like purchase something for someone else, this is definitely a safe one. And I have it in the linen and room spray as well. And I love this. I spray it on my couches, on the curtains, beds, 
wherever you want to spray it. So I really like that. It doesn't last, you know, a long, long time, but it is really nice. And I think it's worth it. It lasts a long time. The bot, you know, the amount lasts a long time. So yeah, sea salt and neroli is definitely worth the hype. So they recently changed since I ordered last time, they changed their packaging. So this is the new one. So it looks a little different, but yeah, definitely recommend 110%. Um, my second favorite and probably the safe one I would get if you haven't bought any of these yet is the Pear Blossom Agave and it's the turquoise one and it is, it's so pretty. It's kind of fruity, but a rich fruity, not like a cheap fruity. It's, it's hard to think of a, a cleaner being fruity, but it's just very rich and clean. It's a pear. I think, I don't think anybody would smell this and not like it. So I think this is a very safe one. Um, and that's pear blossom agave. Okay. Now let's move to this one, the Tangelo, Tangelo palm frond, and it's kind of the peachy orange colored one. Uh, this was my one belt. This is the only bottle I've had of this, and it's almost gone. And this is more of the um, the mandarin smell, the orangey smell. Not a strong orange smell. It's a rich orange smell, and it's you have to you kind of have to smell it to understand. But this is more of the citrusy one. It's good. Probably not a repurchase because there's others that I do like better, but if you like the orange citrusy scents, like more than lemon, you might want to go with this one. So yeah, it's good. It's really good. And that's Tangelo Palm Fron. Really good. Okay, now this one is the one that I have that's brand new to my collection. It's um, Basil, Basil Blue Sage. I've never gotten this one. And when I smelled it out of the bottle, mm -mm, I don't like it. It's very, now that doesn't mean somebody else will not love it. It's, it, this is, this one is more herbally. It smells very, it smells like herbs is what it smells like. Very basil herbs. Um, but I did use it on my counters just to smell and it does smell really clean and nice. It's just not something that I would buy again. I'm gonna use it. Um, it's not like, it doesn't smell good out of the bottle, but like on my countertops, I, it didn't bother me at all. And it, you know, it is a rich smell. So if you like more of a herbal scent, this is for you. <laughs> I mean, they pretty much have something for everybody. And that is the Basil Blue Sage. And then this is a rosewater driftwood and it's got kind of the gray and pink Ugh, and this is so good it is more of the this is more of a like I can smell the driftwood it's kind of almost perfumey um, I don't use this in the kitchen I stick to the um, the pear agave and the sea salt in the kitchen more, and I use this. Actually, I use this. My girls have this in their bathroom. Um, it's a gorgeous scent. Now I do use these on like in the bathrooms in my kitchen, but I also like wipe down my doors with it. So I, I use this all through my house. So this is more of a perfumey scent, a clean perfumey scent, and it's beautiful definitely repurchase definitely and this is another one of my favorites for this is i have this is okay gilded boss gilded gilded balsam birch and it is the white and gold it's gonna be hard to see with my ring light but it's really pretty and i have oh, i'm almost out i should have ordered more of this this is the linen spray. I use this after I make my bed every morning. So when I smell this, I think of, it smells like my bedroom to me. It's, this one smells more like a rich man's cologne. Not a strong cologne, but just like 
like a rich, sexy man has been in there. That's what this smells like. I use this one um, pretty much only in my bathroom because my bathroom is like adjoining to my bedroom. So I use it on everything in my bathroom. And then I use this on my bed and it is wonderful. So this is definitely a repurchase. I wouldn't use this in my kitchen necessarily because it's kind of cologne but it just smells good. So, I mean, um, yeah, definitely. So the only two that I probably will not repurchase is, like I said, the, um, the basil blue sage and the tangelo just because I'm not big on the orangey scents. It smells good, but like I said, there's so many others that I like better. Um, so there's kind of something for everybody. You know, the lemon would work for you for the um, the sea salt and the rolly. It's amazing. The pear blossom and agave, you can't go wrong. And if you like a colony scent, the gilded blossom, balsam birch, that's hard to say, and like more of a perfumey is the rosewater driftwood. I mean, you just cannot go wrong. Um, and I just, I really, I know that they're expensive. $10 for a countertop clean is expensive. But like I said, I don't use it to really deep clean my stuff. I use it for the fragrance and because, it is, you know, you can use it on different surfaces like, you know, granite and stuff and it's safe. So, yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, and also like for um, a, I've done this before, I bought for like a, as a gift, like a $25 gift, you know, a countertop clean and a linen spray. Everybody loves this one. I can promise you that. And also, like I said, the pear blossom and agave, you can't go wrong with it. So yeah, um, I guess that's about all I have to say. Um, if I end up getting the lavender, I think there also is one more, maybe it's sweet pea, I may be wrong, but, um, if I end up getting the lavender or sweet pea, I will definitely try those out and make, you know, update a video. Um, but I'll, let, let me tell you about some other things that they have on their website. You can get the countertop spray, the linen and room spray. They have the candles. Um, I haven't tried anything else besides this. This um, They have the dishwashing liquid, um, which I'm not interested in that. Um, but... And then they have something that I want to try is their, they have laundry detergent. So, and it's not cheap though, guys. It is $25 for the detergent and like $14, I think, for the fabric softener, which I probably will get it because I want to try it out and let everybody know if it's worth it. You know, if it makes my clothes smell like sea salt and roll it, yeah, it's worth it. You know what I mean? But it's not going to be, it wouldn't be something that I would use on, I have five people in my family, so I wouldn't use it on everything. I would use it maybe on our bedding um, or, you know, um, my towels, you know, or the shirts that we, you know, really like to wear a whole lot. Something like that, you know, just specialty things. I wouldn't definitely use $25 detergent on everybody's, all the kids' clothes and stuff like that. So, but yeah, so I definitely love Caldrea for sure. And I recommend it. So if you have any questions about any of these scents and I, that I didn't really go into enough detail on or whatever, just let me know and I will answer any questions. And if you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.